hooked into a nice trout here. Easing him in. First trout of the year so far at Chamberlain. It's kind of in a lull here, half asleep. The uh, hadn't been getting many bites. Clean down a little bit. Nice looking trout. Nice looking trout. A quick measure. 16 inches. Nice beautiful trout. Nice and fat. Ah, and he took her it off. Happy as a lark. Another one on the red and white weeping willow. Come around to this side. Another decent one, 14, 15 incher maybe. The old net. Oh, come here. Oh, another nice one. He might be another 16 incher. Oh, he unhooked himself as well. Let's give him a quick measure. 16 inch. Beauty. And there he goes. Happy camper. Pink belly, he's a nice one. Nice brookie. Not hooked too bad. Should be able to get a quick release on him. A little quick measure. Sixteen and a quarter. Nice pink belly there. And he's gone. Oh, got a nice one on. Lake. Hates to come my way. Got to give him a little drag. I'd had a bite there the last two or three passes. I sped it up just a little bit, and sure enough, I hooked on this time. He's about ready for the net. Whoops, sorry about that. Come over my way, nice, nice fat boy. There he is. We go. That's a beauty. And he is gonna come in at 15 inches. Nice thick one though. Nice 15 incher. Back in he goes. Got a little more girth to it. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. 
You ain't ready to give up yet. You need a bigger boat. <laughs> He's a fight. Whoa. Come on. This is a little better one. There we go. Oh yeah, that's a beauty. All my lures on the ground. I'm gonna go in that. Squeeze the tail 19 inches. Beauty trout. Beauty trout. Whew, get him back in the water. There he goes. Don't I have a mess now? I just upended that whole tackle box full of lures on the ground right upside down. What a mess. Oh well, it was worth it. <laughs> so yesterday in the day, fishing brookies, using uh, quite a few different lures. Pretty much went back to my old standbys and they started producing just like always. 90% uh, of the fish so far, simple, red and white weeping willow. This is not the deep dive version. I tried the deep dive version yesterday. It's a little heavier. Nothing. Lighter one. Loved it. Just tried this uh, other one this morning. Just caught that last small fish on it. This is a newer pattern that come out. It's got uh, the uh, red reflective tape on there. So that started to produce this morning. Some of the other colors that I've used in the past years, like green, gold, nothing on them so far. Uh, speed is a big thing here. I usually try to run pretty fast, 2.6, 2.7 miles per hour. I found that if you go any slower than that, you get a lot of strikes, but you won't get nearly as many hookups. And uh, any faster, and they seem it's just too fast for them. But that sweet spot's right in the 2.6 to 2.7 mile an hour range. I mean, uh, no specific spots, but if you come up to Chamberlain, you just troll the whole shore at 2.6, 2.7 miles an hour with a red and white weeping willow, you'll catch trout in the springtime. As you troll more and more, you'll figure out where they congregate a little bit more. But you can do it just with that. Close to shore, if you're not hitting rocks, you're not catching trout, 2.6, 2.7 miles per hour. Go to number one, red and white weeping willow. That's my two cents. Some other guy will give you his four cents, but it'll produce. It'll produce. Well, finally, after a couple passes, we was able to get into something other than the old purple face chub. But this is another chub. Oh no, that's no chub. That's no chub. Chubby. That's old. Oop. Not an old monster, but he'll do the trick. Looks like he's got a nice pretty belly on him. 14 there. It's a beauty. Back into the old drink and drink. Oh. Oh, we got another trout on here. A few passes. They're not uh, wild and woolly in here today. This is just a little guy. Won't set no records with this fella. They 
if we can't get him netted up, get him back in before he uh, does any damage. Yep, just 12 inch. Nice little guy. We'll let it get him back in then, let him uh, make, get back up. 